So, uh, Tilo, first of all, I want to congratulate you with your 25th uh, anniversary and with the release of your newest album. Uh, I cannot pronounce it in uh, German. <laughs> Hope. Uh, yes. Thank you very much. Uh, so, f the first question is how are you going to celebrate your anniversary? Well, actually, we, um, we celebrated it already with two concerts in Germany where we played like um, chronologically the, 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 the set. Uh, through from from the very first song I composed, Silly Note, until the new album. Um, that was those two evenings actually. That was the main part of the uh, celebration. And of course, on this tour, we also have lots of old songs um, and continues until the end of the tour. And you know. Uh. What do you feel uh, after 25 years of being a real gothic idol? Uh, is it hard for you uh, to keep this image for so many years? I, I don't see myself like that. Um, people might see me like that, but I'm just doing what I like and um, that's what, what happens then. <laughs> so I don't need to concentrate on anything or try to keep up anything. That would be also too stressful to do that. <laughs> Uh, how do you think, uh, have Gothic stage changed uh, since uh, the time you started? Yeah, yeah, very much. Um, when I started actually, Gothic scene was more um, something where the people could identify with, where they could like uh, express themselves in the music, within the look and the style. Nowadays, I have the feeling it's more like a party scene, which is not, not bad, but it's, it's different. It's, it's more a party scene. Um, it's probably easier for the people because you can like drop in for the weekend and then for normal day you can drop out again. Uh, but it's not that lifestyle anymore that I used to know. And, and that actually brings us back to the question you had before. For me it's a lifestyle, so therefore um, I would never wear uh, things that uh, don't fit to my taste. So it just doesn't work. But if my taste changes, then I do it. For example, I cut my hair. I had long hair for a very long time and I'm pretty sure many people are a bit sad about it but it's just yeah I now want to have this kind of hair and yeah <laughs> okay uh, let's take a look uh, to 25 years back uh, who inspired you to start La Cremosa? well it was actually a combination of um, several things on one hand I wanted to combine um, the, 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 the Emotions from Gothic music, the the beauty from orchestral music, and the and the power from metal. And I wanted to bring this together, and um, that was the one motivation. The other motivation was, I was a huge fan of bands like Joy Division and and, and, and um, Bauhaus. On on the other hand, Guns N' Roses and uh, Metallica, and yeah, and to bring this together, I always thought like, why is why is there not a band like, for example, Metallica with a black album? Mm -hmm. There, for me, that was actually the starting point of gothic metal, for me personally, because Metallica suddenly did an album with pure emotional songs. And it was totally new for me that time, because until then, metal was not really emotional. Mm -hmm. So um, that, that was kind of the kickoff. And uh, after these 25 years, you inspired a lot of younger brands and uh, maybe uh, you may call some of uh, young ones uh, who play gothic uh, whom you love. Well, to be honest, I don't know any, or I don't know so many young bands. I'm listening a lot of, um, still my old heroes of course, a lot of metal bands. Um, I don't know so many bands who are in our direction, of course, I know some who are very inspired by Lacrimosa, but, you know, I can hear, oh, there, that's Lacrimosa, that's Lacrimosa, so it doesn't really, you know, um, yeah, it doesn't shock me, it's, it's yeah. Yeah, uh, you know, it's maybe a bit strange question, uh, it's uh, a normal situation with uh, rock bands when they play 20, 30, 40, 50 years, for example, like Black Sabbath, and, uh, Iron Maiden, Metallica and so on. Uh, 
How do you think? Uh, will we see Lacrimosa in 20 years, for example? I have actually no idea. I really don't know. I never make plans. Um, I don't know. It, for me, I do music as long as I have the need to write music. When I sit on a piano or when I grab a guitar and I play something and I realize there's something new coming, some new music is coming to the world, that, that fascinates me. And if I lose this fascination, then I stop right away. So I don't know if I will have this fascination still in 50 or, or let's say 20 years <laughs> or not. Let's see. Okay. Uh, you had two albums with your side project, uh, Snake Skin, and uh, will we hear something new from it? Yes, definitely. That's the next step in my life. Great. And uh, one more question. I remember that you produced and managed uh, the band Cinema Bizarre. And uh, will we see you as a producer or manager for um, uh, any, any more bands? That might be. If I have an idea again uh, and the right people, that might happen. Um, I, I very much loved this time with Cinema Bizarre. It was a great time. And um, so if, if something comes around or if I have the, the idea again, then maybe, why not? Uh, and probably the last one, uh, I want to ask you just to say some words for your Russian fans here. Of course. I mean, on one hand I want to say uh, thanks for your trust and your loyalty to us, because this, um, since so many years we are able to come to Russia and um, I just took a, a quick uh, look outside and, and, and the venue is getting full. It's amazing after so many years that there are still so many people coming and, and I feel always so love. Um, this pure love that the Russian fans have for us and it's it's the most beautiful feeling to 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 be loved and um, and I think you guys can feel that we love you very very much and I just said it yesterday I'm I'm pretty sad because it's the last concert on this tour in Russia tomorrow we are leaving Russia and I'm a little sad already so I hope I can come back soon with Lacrimosa and I hope you come back too again. So thank you very much. Now for you and for me. You won't escape the fight again. You and your